My son has an IEP and is now eight years old with an IQ of 55, according to the school psychologist. Uh, if we move schools, you could be put in a self-contained classroom. The school has stated the school would have to agree to let him come back to the school. Um, can the school district do this? So a school district can do whatever it wants. I can do whatever I want. Is there a consequence for doing something that's illegal only if you file? So, you know, we make decisions in an IEP meeting on placement, identification, and evaluation by the parents and the school-based members. It's part of your procedural rights and meaningful participation in the IEP process. So I don't want parents to make a decision out of fear, um, and I don't want schools to hang something over people's heads sort of as a threat. You look at settings if that's the most appropriate place per content area. So I don't know your child, but maybe if your child has an IQ that's 55, maybe some of their time would be appropriately served in a life skills setting for reading, writing, or math. So, you know, it's not a, it's not a scarlet letter. It's not bad news, but we look at each area. Can they do science and social studies and general ed? Almost always we can modify that, right? Um, can they do electives sometimes? But we look at each content area. It's not you're in general ed or you're in self-contained. And when we do that as a committee, then we're doing it, I believe, under the intention of IDEA.